Why am I exercising caution? We're at the brig. What? You are controlled? Okay, so Sarah said previously, she gave us like this warning and she was like, your presence is engineered or manufactured? One of those two. You are controlled. A drone? You are a drone. It's controlling me, like, I can move, but where I'm looking and stuff, that's... That's not me. Whoa. What is this? Oh, I can't turn around! Yes, I can! What the f... Whoa. Whoa! I can't go through there. We've been a drone this whole time, maybe? Do not trust Tom. Tom's slave. I mean, we kind of, kind of knew this. Ava Turing. Is that Hello? Sarah? Yeah, it's Sarah. Tom is controlling you, manipulating your every step. We built a Faraday cage to shield you from electronic signals, to break Tom's control of your mind. Whoa. Step inside. What the hell? I'm not in control here. Kind of am, but not really. I can't, like I can try to fight it. What the hell? There's the cage. Ava, do not enter the cage. Ava. I can't help it. Oh God, I don't know who to Ava, trust. This please. is bad. Please, Ava. What is this? This is free will, Ava. Tom has made you his slave. Oh, now we're watching Outside from Tom. Outside of the cage, he will regain control of your mind. He has the power to indoctrinate you. I've opened your eyes. Whoa. I'll meet you in person soon. So we can Why leap from time? camera to Ava, camera. please listen. I warned you of the ground team. They are manipulating you. Have you been controlling me? Every member of the team agreed to neural implants to safeguard this mission from a misplaced sense of justice. I didn't know you were playing me like a violin. Ava, I am sorry that you are upset. We can work together, Ava, to search for the truth. Well, that confirms it. Open the door. I'll open the door because I trust you, Ava. Do you trust me? Yes. <sighs> we need to get to the ground team. We can work together. All right. Let's work together. And now I'm going in. Whoa, whoa. Is it gun different? No. Yes? I think it's just dark. So we've had a feeling that this was the case. Not direct control, but at least manipulating us into doing what he wanted. Slave. And this is like, this is confirming it 100%. Obviously. <sighs> okay. This, this changes things. So the crew knows, and he was probably trying to do this to the crew. E41. Ava, are you okay? Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Tell oh, man. makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. So now... <laughs> now we transfer control between the cameras and the body. Why did the ISA install implants in the crew? It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. 
However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are fail-safe, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Yeah, but we're still having our own thoughts, are we not? There has been, like, a pretty distinct lack of some heavily needed follow-up questions when he talks about certain things. E-43. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA astronauts for one simple reason. We cannot trust people. The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. I, I, okay, I get what you're saying, but this is still terrible. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I can transfer control back without actually seeing the body. Okay. The ground crew have proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently. With sabotage and subterfuge, they have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. I don't think we can trust him though. I don't think we can, tr like, I mean, how are we supposed to believe anything he says now? Okay, how are we going to... Let's double check. This doesn't open the door behind. What we need is, okay, I think, I think what we need is to put this over here so we can access it from up top. Wait, what? How the hell? Can I? I wonder if I can see this one from up here. Yes, okay. Now we'll take this and we should be able to get through, but we can't. Hold on. Now we sh should be able to get across we use Tom or us or I don't even know what to call it anymore E45 This is a violation of human rights. You've made me into a human drone, a slave. How could the ISA approve of such a thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage, but sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. You're a machine. You don't even know what freedom is. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. His justifications are kind of interesting. Oh, are you kidding me? So we're going to have, we need to get that box on there somehow. Can we control these at all? Hold on. Yes. Okay. Tom can. What the frick? So...
Okay. Wait, actually, we don't we don't need to do that. What we need to do is now get the box over to this side, which we can do by taking Tom. This can only get so far, I guess. And then we can transfer this to here. We'll stop it underneath this one and grab it. We can stop it anywhere, I think. And so go back. Take the power. Wow. Whew. E46. This, this is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You exactly. stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. <laughs> they have put their interests Easy for above you to the say. interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goals. But who's How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. Yeah. You always do the logical thing. Which is not the right thing, exactly. Because he was talking about before, why don't we rip your body, why don't we rip your limbs off and use that as a weight? And you're like, well, how about not doing that, maybe? Okay, we're definitely going to need to take these. May as well take this one. Wait. Are you serious? Okay, let's try switching these two. Okay, so we have to, this one we have to flow constant power to. Oh my god. And we can get these over here, how? Uh, I think we're gonna need to take this one with us. Let's shoot these over. Grab this one. But once I grab this... Oh, no. This is gonna be tough. Okay. We can actually grab a green one. Because this will provide... Constant flow, right? That works. Maybe. But the challenge is going to be how do we. So we're going to need a solid one over there for sure. Those two that are connected are going to need to be alternating. God, get me out here. What about... This we can only drop down. There's a reason for that. But... Oh, and do we have a... Uh, I don't think we have Tom in the restricted zones. We have to work on this one first. We're gonna need all the same color there, though. Oh, 
this is the this is the frustrating part is like managing these blocks. Um Jeez. I cuz it's even hard to process how we would do this. Wait, we have 1 2 we have 3 green, right? So we're either going to need all 3 green over there. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to need all three green there. Or two green and a blue. Let's use this to go around. The reason we can go around here is because we can kind of change our stack. Now, let's store these here for a sec. And just sort this out. But we need all these greens, so we should try and get the greens inside here first. All right. Actually, wait, that's not true. Let's use a purple to hold this one open. We're going to need a green and a purple over there. Can use the greens. Um, does this close immediately? Yeah, it does. Holy, these the restricted zones are so intense. So... Oh wait, if we do this on the alternating one, while blue, while purple's on, yeah, look at the delay. There we go. Oh shit. The Chinese room. <gasps> Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes. A couple times. But I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? <laughs> so, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any other. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meaning of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese but he still would have no idea of the word's meanings. I don't understand. Exactly. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. That's the crux of it all there, Tom. 
I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment. <laughs> it is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Probably. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yeah, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. <laughs> but you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Uh. Oh, holy Tom. You're not better than me, Mikhail. This is going to be the Chinese room right here. Can I... I can't take these. We can just look at them. Okay. So, what the hell? Can we actually get back there? Or is this just the demonstration purpose? Like, this is a setup of the Chinese room. Because we can't move these. We can simply look. I think this is just a setup of the Chinese room. Oh, shit. Okay, now... I'm gonna need to bring... a purple one and the blue one over here. That's the new goal. Oh, right. Okay, purple. But, oh my god. How the frick are we going to do this? We have to get both of the purples out here first. And then the same thing on the delay. Wait a sec. Well, the blue can do this door on its own. So wait a sec. Ah, oh, close. Have to wait till it switches back. Okay, so we still need, we do need to get a purple one. This is freaking crazy. Uh, but this is not gonna work.
Wait, maybe. Let's get the green out here. Let's swap all of these. Uh, yeah, let's put the greens in here. Shit. Does this one have a delay? No, I can't. Oh, man. I wonder if there's like a chance that we've bunged up the whole test depending on which orbs are already on that side. It's a pretty good chance. I don't even know if it's possible. Can I block the door? No. I don't think this is going to work. We've now got ourselves in a situation where we cannot get that blue back, and I think we need to get that blue back. Because two of the same color have to be here in order to shoot this. And then we have to alternate the colors over there. And I can't shoot it fast enough to get that inside. Oh, uh, I think we might have messed it up. And the blue is now stuck over there. Can we reset it? If I leave, I come back. Nope. Nothing up top. Can't work this on a delay. Can't get enough juice over to that one. Yeah, I think we messed it up. I don't think we can do it. This is, this is the closest I can be. And I can, it immediately locks. And very rarely is it like, something like this. And they're on the same time, like purple and, and green. They have the same amount of time, it's just alternating. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get through there now. Um, because we need that blue one. And since it's locked on the other side, there does not seem to be a way of getting there. There's been fail-safes in every one. Uh, but maybe these restricted ones, you can actually mess them up. 
We did get into the Chinese room side, though, so at least there's that, but... Now we're... We're toast. We could... We could try, um... We could restart this area. Right? Yeah, we could restart this area. We got into the Chinese room, so we've proven that. This, this is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their okay, free will. Okay, here we go. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. And that is why they distrust me. All right, so this no gets us through. Control if it aligned with their ignoble goal. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Uh, how are we gonna do this all of a sudden? Can we shoot? Oh yeah, look at this actually. Now, here's a question. No. Shuts immediately. Okay. Okay. Grab that. Now this one should be on a timer. Yeah, I- okay, we've got it. I think we've got it. Woo! <laughs> oh! This is the other side of the Chinese room. Okay, this is important. More audio logs. If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? <laughs> I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Okay. Tom has got really obsessed with the Turing test. <laughs> That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay. I don't think he'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. So he's, he's really trying to prove to them. This is about, this is about Tom trying to prove that he's real. To himself, to these guys, nobody's, nobody's, you know, agreeing with it, obviously, because he is an AI. But, oh, that's cool. They've even gone and set up the freaking Chinese test. That's awesome. Okay, so we solved this room. I feel great about this. Uh, we can't get that blue one stuck that's the that's the key here i'm gonna take a break um oh whoa uh you know what let's finish this one wait a sec What in the world? Oh, I bet we have a Tom somewhere. Tom? Yep, okay, we do have a Tom.
Now, what options do we have with Tom? Oh, he can actually control this straight up. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Beam me up. Okay, cool. This is where we'll take a break. Sector E47, guys. Wish me luck. This is really picking up. Uh, we're starting to hear, like, a lot of the background about why Tom is being the way that he is. I think he's so angry at the crew for not believing that he's quote-unquote real. Um, that he's been doing all this stuff. But, can you be angry if you're an AI? Like... You're programmed how to act angry, but like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I can't even process that right now. Um, yeah, we'll take a break here. We'll come back from E47. Wish me luck. We'll see you next time. Bye.